I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, open science and open source. It, it does sort of feel like we're entering this world where everybody's discovered how valuable their research is, so you need to hold it back. Obviously, you're a very open source company, but Bonnie, even some of your work you're trying to sort of keep out in the open. How do you weigh the trade-offs and what you guys make public versus sort of keep for, for yourselves? Yeah, for us, grounding our models in the real world is extremely important. If we're to build a model and only keep it behind closed doors, how would we ever build trust with the scientific community? So for us, I think it's incredibly important that we make it available to scientists, that we build the community, that we get the feedback, that we iterate and improve on that. So open sourcing is a, is a big part of our, our strategy. Uh, and then you're still able to like trademark approaches and keep IP yeah, around what you discover? Exactly. And we can also think about future versions uh, that might have some proprietary element to it, have some type of acceleration or speed up to it that we can then put within a commercial platform offering. But I think initially to gain that trust with scientists and to really understand how well it's working, we have to put it out there. It needs to be validated. It needs to be experimented with. If we have a Gen AI model that gives us new novel material, can someone go and make that in the lab? So we also look to partner with organizations to help us to do that too.